get started. So we'll have five lightning talks. Uh, the first one is Odelien with cluster shell. Okay, so hello everybody. I'm Olen Odelien. I'm Samin and system developer uh, at TIE, a large site in France. So we are a tier zero place site uh, in France. So I would like today to talk to you about first a shell, a scalable common execution library, and set of tools. So as we are a, a large site, we got clusters with more than 5,000 nodes to, to, to manage. So we need tools for that. We need something fast and scalable to, to manage them easily. So the, the main idea behind cluster shell was to rebase our um, scripts, batch scripts, Python script, Python, uh, and tools onto a common framework to avoid uh, having to rewriting everything each time. So, um, we wanted to gather in the same framework the main features we need, so something to manage the set of nodes of the clusters, running remote commands, and process an easy way to process the various results that uh, those commands can, can have. So let's see some example of what could be done with this uh, with cluster shell. So the first one is a CLI command, not set. So uh, as the name stated, it, uh, states it's more it's to manage the list of nodes. So he has various outputs. He can do any set-like operation to uh, between all those uh, nodes name, and he can manage groups. It could be static groups in flat or YAML files, or uh, from plugins then based on uh, on bash up calls. So here you can see. Uh, slightly complex example where uh, we'll be uh, folding, uh, so having a, a compact output of uh, nodes from the compute groups where we'll be excluding uh, nodes from the, uh, from the idols in Swarm. Uh, so you can see here that it's dynamic based on what the current status in, uh, in Swarm uh, uh, groups. And there are much more features for, for this. The second example is cluster shell, is clush. Uh, clush is the main tool for uh, for, this, uh, for, for this, it's similar to PGSH for those who know it, uh, with much more features. So it can do a, a lot more, but it's very similar to do as a, an easy transition. So it's uh, based on ACSH, or we can support also RSH variants, but uh, it could be extended with uh, uh, Python plugins. So here you can see an example where we'll be running unem m command on all nodes from foo1 to foo1000. <laughs> And we, as there is only two different results, we'll only have two lines of output. So something very compact and synthetic to, to know directly what, what you need to, uh, what information is important to you. There is also a lot more uh, features available um, there. And the last point is uh, cluster shell is uh, as a public Python API. All the CLI tools are based on the API, and you can use it to do your own script or your own tools. There is also a couple of tools uh, based on cluster shell Python API. So the first example here is the not set class. We can do all the same things that uh, the CLI can do, and maybe even more. I, I know projects which are using uh, a cluster shell just for this class because it's really convenient and has a lot of, of features and it could be used very easily. And um, the second example is a task class, uh, which uh, is uh, useful to run commands remotely or locally or on a lot of nodes in, in parallel. So this is a very simple example when we run uh, hello, echo, hello world on uh, all those nodes and we are iterating on the output uh, uh, in, a, in a simple way. Cluster shell is event based. So there is, uh, you can do, we can do event based programmation uh, with cluster shell and this helps you to do a lot of very, very nice things when you are starting this. So this one is not even very simple. And so I hope you are curious to know more about this project. So there is a very nice documentation on with the docs with a, a lot of detail on all the features. And uh, this project is packaged on, um, on all the major distros so you can try it uh, just right now. Thank you.